Hey, look who's here. Huh? How come you're not in school? He got sent home for misbehaving. Well, it's about time. <laughs> hey, when I was your age, I'd already been arrested twice. Charlie, don't. No convictions. Come on, I have had a really bad day. I had to cancel all my patients and close my office to go pick him up. Wow, what a drag. Hey, I got some new video games. You want to play with me? Sure. Did you forget you're being punished? No, why does Uncle Charlie have to suffer? Go to your room. You know, in some countries, you're innocent until proven guilty. You confessed. Oh, uh, yeah. And that country you're thinking of is this one, genius. What did he do? Something awful. How awful? Because these are all multiplayer games. <laughs> Apparently, there is a little girl in Jake's class named Barbara Schmidt, who is a little more physically developed than the uh, other girls. And Jake decided to make a picture of her and pass it around. I only pass it to one person. What happened after that was not my responsibility. Oh, dude, why'd you sign it? Okay, that part I regret. Go back to your room. Hubra Schmidt. Getting this one on the refrigerator. Charlie, this is serious. It really speaks to me. The girl went home in tears. Her mother is on the warpath, and Jake could get expelled. For a silly drawing? It's considered sexual harassment. The school has a zero-tolerance policy. Oh, for the good old days when you could wander into the girl's locker room pretending you were blind. You actually did that? That's horrible. No, the horrible part was stealing the dog from the blind kid. Well, unfortunately, times have changed, and we no longer live in a Porky's movie. Close the door! I'll be in to talk with you in a minute. Oh, go easy on him. He doesn't understand what he did wrong. He's right. I don't have a clue. I thought I told you to close the door. It is close. Go in your room. Fine. You know what? Maybe I should talk to him. Oh, oh, now you want to help? What's that supposed to mean? It means why didn't you pick up the phone when I needed you this afternoon? Uh, I didn't want to. See? See? I can't depend on you. I never have been able to depend on you, and I never will be able to depend on you. And you know why? Because I'm undependable. Yes, yes, undependable and, and, and selfish. And frankly, I'm the idiot, because I deluded myself into believing that when I desperately needed my brother to go pick up my kid at school, he might actually bother to pick up the freaking phone. Okay, okay, in my defense, I really didn't want to. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I should have picked up the phone. Forget it. What's done is done. No sense grinding on it. Thank you. I just have to accept the fact that I, I can't count on anyone. Least of all, an emotionally immature narcissist who thinks that the sun rises out of his navel and sets in his scrotum and only cares about what lies between the two. Okay, I'm no expert, but that sounds a lot like grinding. I am done talking to you. Come on, Alan, I said I was sorry. Give me another chance. <laughs> For what? To let me down again? Tell me what I can do. Name something, anything. <sighs> okay, okay. I have to go to Jake's school tomorrow to see if I can keep him from being expelled. You want me to go with you? I am there. You can count on me. No, my receptionist is out sick all week, and I need somebody to handle the phones while I'm gone. In your office? Yes. <laughs> Way out in the valley? Yes. All day? <laughs> yes. Gee, tomorrow's not really good for me. <laughs> all right, all right, what time? The office opens at eight. The clock? <laughs> no degrees. No reason to be snide, I just don't want to be late. Fine, we leave at seven. A clock? 